Excellent. We'll squeeze fit it in. Here, bracket it right here. Yeah. And then we'll do the other thing. What are you building here, Daisy? Good, Bruce. Say hi to Fabian. Hi, Fabian. Hi, Bruce. And Don, of course. So it's Don. Dave, take a look at it. Because you still have a little bit of slant now coming this way. Yeah, I like it. Perfect. So we're trying to give dignity to people who live outside. So this used to be Ken's cart. And then we took it, we took it all apart. And now it's Yoshi's tiny home. So super exciting and then these are the walls so they're gonna so people can put them up or down so if you're gonna live at the beach you gotta have an ocean view that's what's up and if we give dignity to friends who live outside then all of a sudden it's gonna look pretty good to live outside and then what we're gonna have emerge because right now life emerges from scarcity and then we have to get up and mobilize but if we create ways where we can have a shelter through fellowship, this thing cost me a hundred bucks, that's it, for a tiny home to build. So if we, and people donated, people know I don't touch money out here. So if we have life emerge from scarcity, then it must operate in separation. And then what we have as a result is powerlessness. So instead we want to go back to our nature, which is not like matriarchy where now we do it this way or that have society this way where we literally melt back into symbiosis with earth, find kinship in all organisms, all of life, and then we have life emerge instead of scarcity from flow. And then we follow the flow of life need, of life energies, which are go to meeting needs. And then if life emerges in flow, it operates in togetherness and it results And then it results in autonomy, choices, and power together. That's what's up. So Who's Yoshi? So Yoshi's here. And our friend over here, there's there's this vendor friend who lets Yoshi like shower, do whatever he needs. Yoshi holds down our tribe for I us. See. So here's Yoshi's a Snoop Dogg lookalike. A lot of people mistake him for Snoop Dogg. Yeah, well, cool oh yeah. He sounds and sings just like Snoop Dogg. Da 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 da. Uh huh. See, oh, you're an artist then. But yeah, I'm an artist. See. I'm learning to impersonate Snoop Dogg and like uh, Tupac and them. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and Biggie Small. It's just like the a lot of their stuff is being channeled. Very nice. Yoshi's been watching my stuff since I had the Goddess Temple up at the North End at No Man's Land, and um. Oh my god, that tiny home is going to be so amazing. Yoshi's still still been like holding down the tribe, but he doesn't only take care of my yoga studio. He helps, you know, all of us. So Yoshi kind of like holds down this whole space for everyone. And it's cool because having to like lug all this stuff here all the time is really hard. So what I tried to do to make it easier is, oh, I got this cart from Prince's storage unit. And Prince was like, we're not taking it. So I had to ghost him and run it down to the beach. It was like a mile and a half. I had to skateboard that thing here. Oh, that was so fun. So, oh, I brought this cart to Yoshi. It could easily be turned into a tiny home too, but like, it's not. It would be like a really tiny home. That one's eight by three feet. Okay, perfect. Now we just ran out of supplies, so I went to the construction site and I was banging on the door and the um, sheriffs going by were like, Daisy, stop that, get away from that. I was like, never! I was like, I need wood supplies, Felipe! And then Felipe came and he had this huge grin on and he let me in and he was like, there's nails all over. I was like, okay. So then I just grabbed all the wood I needed and we didn't even have to go buy that wood. I should have just asked Felipe. What about all that flooring you had? Felipe even offered to cut the wood for me. The flooring? That was... Oh, there's some of it. That would be good in here. Yeah? Hold that. That's the ticket. Do you remember um, when I built the 11-foot ceiling 
yoga studio on the hill at the Avenue. I don't remember that. Don't try this at home. Bruce, remember my old yoga studio? I don't. Sorry. Yeah, you do. It was on the hill. Uh, was it easy up, I thought? When right? I first got here? Was it an easy up? On the hill? Oh. No, it was like a wood structure. Oh. You could find it on the hill. Oh. Alright, hold on, I gotta I got, I got drill it into the bottom now. Yay! So fun! I find when you see encouraging things, it makes the job more fun. One more day. And then we have to nail on the roof? So this tiny house is going to be for you or for Yoshi or it's, you're going to all share it? It's for Yoshi and then if I stay out here, like we'll, sh we'll share it. And then they have these at Ralph's. So I'm going to start finding more of them and making more tiny homes because this little tiny home on wheels gives our friends outside a lot of dignity. Because when we're asked to move all of our stuff and I know from experience, like if I'm fast asleep at night and I have to move everything and then build a home and it's 2 a.m., I'm a woman, it's super vulnerable situation for me. And you're then all the men woman, got Daisy. woken up you're too. You're more than a woman. I'm a goddess. Yes. So that makes me actually more powerful and no, no one is a threat, but it's still annoying to have to deal with. So one time I got woken up at 2 a.m. and I had to hide. And I'm not good at hide and seek because I get bored in my hiding spot. So as soon as I got out of my hiding spot, the guy who was looking for me found me. And thank God I know nonviolent communication. So I have a hold this. You just gotta hold that while I tap into a... This is called a tiny home workout. So if we focus on our breath, feel our lungs expand to full capacity till literally our intercostals start to stretch. We can actually Enjoy a stretch and a strength conditioning, creating transformative resilience, more power, balance. It's a wonderful workout, really. And I get to hang out with Super Bruce. Uh -huh. He's a superhero friend of mine. Okay. Super duper Bruce Star. Flying in like a superstar. Super Brewster. Got an electric bike. Give him one of my cards, Daisy. Come on. You know, everyone wants right. that little house. <laughs> little house on the beach. Little house on the beach. There we go. Little house on the beach. See, now you have a slant here, too, so water will be yeah. Uh-huh. Not that we get any water. So you stand under there if it rains, okay? <laughs> yes, I will. No. I'll get wet. How's the girls? They're doing fine. I have twins. Oh, lovely. Oh, great. Lucky you. Yeah, you know we, Fabian? We did twice Hi. Hi. You know Fabian? <laughs> I see you all the time out here with your camera. Bam. <laughs> no, I'm messing with you. Yes, how you doing there? You're so Dave, cute. right? Yes. Um, I know you're a local photographer for many, many years. I'm 
Yeah, I checked out your website. Very nice work. Oh, oh, oh thank you. Yes, yeah, yes. One of the cards. Yes, I got one of the cards years ago. So. Blah, 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 All right, Dave. Oh, we need zip ties. Zip ties, yes. Okay, so mm -hmm. What do you think about then, Daisy's uh, as as tiny home? As soon as I get delivery, I'll bring it here to the suite. And then we want to get you a water bottle, right? Okay, Amazing. I have a question. The jug? Could we, could we drill this in real quick? Yeah, sure. Amazing. Amazing. All right, Dave. Good seeing you. You too. Take care. What's your name again? Fabian. Fabian. Yeah. Santa Monica close up. Yeah. All right, Dave. You. Uh, you too. Champion. Nothing more up there. Right there. Or more. Okay. There. Okay, perfect. All right. Um, Casey, so put them all the way you want them because that'll hold. Good, let go. Okay. It'll hold. And then put them the way you want them so we're kind of consistent. Okay. Yeah, so these. I like, like it free hanging. Yeah, exactly. So they could roll up and down. You're a visionary. Ta -ta. Close up. The video that we got with my bus, the yellow school bus. Yesterday? A couple days, there's two videos. I just, I'm not asking you to like, take it down because I know this is really Right. Shit. I just don't need, to, like, the thing is, with the, the cops were there a couple of days, my buddy told me I was out of town and came back. I let my friend store a couple things next to my car. Oh, yeah. And the right. cops came and took all this shit. Right, right. So, it just, you know, I know I know it's it's hard to get Put it in the wood pile. All right, Jack, nice meeting you. Yeah, it's a good time. It is small. So, this is going to go. You know, soon because you're going to have your. Uh, I'll have the battery pack. I'll have the battery pack. So, yeah, we ordered a generator. We ordered a spout so we can have running water. And, I mean, you can make it so you could just live out here. 
And if they would stop bulldozing our gardens, then we could have our food out here too. And this, animals, once we have animals and plants. I hope this is going to start a fad. All the yeah, and then we can, can dig rivers have a portable, and hot springs. Uh, portable you know how many thing? hot springs are all over LA cemented up? You want to know another thing? There's absolutely no reason to have pipes. We could use soil filtration systems and create rivers and different waterways. And then we could create clean w ways to getting water to people. Even having water delivered where we don't have dirty pipes. The only reason we got pipes, I've been thinking about this a lot, so we could charge for it. And in the 1950s or 60s when they did all of the infrastructure of LA and all the pipes and sewage, they knew that once we got to a certain population, it would be way too much and we're past that. And that's why we have 30,000 or plus gallons of sewage getting dumped in the ocean every couple of months. And we have so much death. Like there's a reason why our ocean is so dirty. And if we just do like a little bit of shift, soil filtration systems instead of pipes. Now we don't meter it. You can't meter it if it's in the ground. Guess what else you can't meter if it's in the ground because the grounds are also an energy conductor. We wouldn't have power lines that are cumbersome and hurt animals and actually hurt everyone. Um, the only reason we got that is so we can meter that shit charge for it. And it's about time we made everything available, even like music and entertainment because when we force people to watch advertisements we're, and we're forcing their bodies to secrete adrenaline and cortisol toxic stress hormones as violence that's what's left we gotta be more loving and caring so i was thinking about if city work is this thing called we put a hundred dollars of our money that's it to get all of the supplies less than a hundred less than a hundred and if, think of the city, all that manpower, if they came and built tiny homes and did this and did rivers and planted food and created meet, met needs, instead of coming here and doing the enforcer thing, using the power over, what happens if we flip it, use the power with? Now we're in partnership instead of domination. Partnership attunes to, resonates with. It doesn't come in and evaluate, investigate, force programs and whatnot. It's got a whole different operating system. And I believe that's what too bad that Albert Einstein didn't know about nonviolent communication. He was more quantum mechanic, but he talked about this other mind. He just didn't know it was the prefrontal cortex wired to the hippocampus having communication with the whole brain and body and all the meridian points and energy centers and head and heart and gut brains all having coherency and communicating together. That's what happens when we're not hyped up in hypermobilization. We go into parasympathetic and we move into alpha theta brainwaves instead of doing beta all day. And this is how we do it. We get people out of stress. Now, Yoshi can have some dignity when he moves. His bed can be nice in here. He can have all his stuff clean. It'll stay clean. So I'm gonna take Yoshi's clothes back with me. Bruce, when you leave, Yoshi, get all your laundry together. I'm gonna take it home with me, wash it, and bring it back. So when you sleep in there tonight, all your stuff stays clean for, from now on, and I brought you a bin to keep it in, and you can put it right on top. Sound good? And that's what we do. And now now Yoshi has, has cleanliness. He's got more dignity. Now we're meeting needs, making life more wonderful, instead of humiliating people and making them feel awful. And the worst part is these are our friends doing it. The city workers and the cops and everything, those are our friends. So Daisy, I'm gonna go get the zip ties. I'm gonna go with you. Okay, good. Are we okay to leave that? Oh, we're gonna. Put this by Yoshi. We're gonna put our stuff with Yosh. Yeah. What's up? Hey Yosh, yeah. we're gonna leave the yeah. drill here. From Ralph. How do you know Daisy, Bruce? Uh, Daisy actually is my uh, guru. She works on my back. Oh. I've got uh, back problems. She walks on it. She's gifted. She's a healer. Uh -huh. She's a healer. I'm Daisy the Venice Healer. And I speak radical truth.
Good suggestion. I see me and you, Bruce. Bye bye. We'll see Is that why you didn't say anything? <laughs> <laughs> 
Construction guys, when I go back tomorrow, they'll give, they'll cut four pieces of wood, whatever size I want. So I'm gonna have them give me two eight foot two by fours, and I'm gonna put two down here, two up here, and then we can easily roll these out. <laughs> I'm gonna take the wood out right now. It's not attached. Only these. Way more to unscrew here, but let's do it. I'll bring that. 
I'll bring I'll bring this over. You don't have to leave it. Okay. You sure. Leave it. Yeah.